happening for you this year? And, and if so, how, how, how big could that be to kind of get Boone's presence down there again? Or was playing wing? Yeah, if he was playing wing, just like, you know, just kind of free him up from the center stuff that, you know, he was doing the last couple of years. Yeah, I, I see, I didn't mind Jens at center uh, in some of the things he did. I, 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 I think you put Jens in any position on the ice, he's going to play his game. Uh, we'll let him get some more forechecking. Uh, th that could be, and that may help his game. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll, he's going to start at left wing somewhere. I'm not sure what, what the lines are, but Jens is going to be at left wing somewhere and uh, see if that can allow him to get banging around and uh, allow his forechecking to be in his game more. I know it's hard. It's really hard to tell what you want to tell in, in these kind of scrimmages or, or whatever. But have you seen in this camp so far, you know, what you what, what you want to see out of Boone? I mean, I, I, do you like what you see so far, I guess? You know what? You can ask me about any player here. It's really hard to uh, make assessments. We're, we're going to keep assessing when the season starts. Uh, I think that's when you get a true assessment, especially at this camp, which is such a short camp. And um, I think Jens has skated well. Um, I want to see those three guys together, him, Koivu, and, and Nasher, with Nasher on the right wing. Uh, I, I, I just don't know what the lines are going to be. Okay. Next question goes to Aaron Portsline. Go ahead, Aaron. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, John. Uh, how unsettled would you say or settled is that third pair with Del Zotto now coming in to you? You've had peak there, uh, Kook and Del Zotto. And, and how settled do you think it might be as this season plays out? Could you see a, a bit of moving guys in and out depending upon matchups or performance or such? Is that still wide open for you? Yeah, I don't think anybody separated themselves. Uh, uh, I, I thought I thought Michael was more aggressive tonight getting up the ice uh, and joining the rush. Uh, I don't think anybody's really separated themselves as far as claiming that 5-6 spot. Uh, so we'll have the discussions. Uh, prior to our first game, see what happens there. But that, that to me is still a, a position that uh, uh, it, it could be moved in and out as game goes, as each game goes by, depending on on what happens in that game. Do you feel any better after this game than you did the first one, or are they just about the same for you? No, I, I saw some things. I, I saw some people that I think can work together. Uh, uh, the, in, in a couple of situations. Uh, I thought there was Temple in the first period. Um, I'm sick of the scrimmages, though. Yeah, yeah, and and they are too. It, it, I think we did a lot of uh, a, a, we got we touched upon a lot of things tonight. We used some of our power play guys, uh, Nick and Cam, and uh, to get some uh, penalty killing in. So I think we got a lot accomplished in the scrimmages, especially this format here two five-on-five five periods, and then some special teams. I think we got a lot of puck moving and a lot of things uh, uh, done there, but these scrimmages get old. The guys want to play against another team no matter how short the camp is. Uh, I like what we've done the past few days here as far as what we've got accomplished um, as far as our team concept. But to judge a guy on his competitiveness and all that, it's very tough to do as far as in the scrimmages. Thanks. Next question goes to Dave Methel. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, Torts, uh, compressed camp. You knew that going in. Are you at this point now with a game on Thursday feeling that that uh, pinch of time, or are you fairly satisfied with where you are in terms of what you've been able to put in and, and the time you've got left to get things ready to go before Thursday? No, I, I like what we've gotten done. Uh, we, we've done some video work. Uh, uh, we've touched upon basically all of our team concept, uh, some parts of it more than others. Uh, our, we've, we've done a lot of special teams work, both power play and penalty killing. Yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna scrimmage anymore. We're gonna we'll uh, we'll make some cuts tonight as far as you know, figure out our, what our taxi squad is and and uh, who our American League guys are, uh, and and then get we'll have a day off tomorrow and get we have two good practices where we play our first game. Any other questions? Oh. A question for Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, John, is this a similar feeling, you know, to where you were near the end of that training camp this summer at all? 
you know, as far as you had all these high scr scoring scrimmages and you were going up to Toronto, I mean, is, is there any similarity in feeling there after the after you've seen this? I don't even remember it, quite honestly. And uh, th this is different. This is uh, uh, this is regular season we're getting ready for, and a, a compressed regular season. Uh, uh, I, I think we went to Toronto. Uh, the bubble situation was it's going to be totally different here. Uh, this go around the bubble thing was something that uh, sticks out to me uh, in, in that in the playoff stuff. So a little bit different. Everybody knew that uh, it's basically the playoff mentality, and we're all in the same spot. Uh, uh, it was a great experience. This is going to be different. This is uh, a grind. It, it's going to be a grind to try to get in. Uh, in, in the 56 games in 115 days. Uh, so we're just going to take it one day at a time. We, we, you never know where it's going to go as far as the virus and, and positive testing versus negative, all that stuff. We're, we're just going to take it a day at a time. Thank you. Thanks, right. Parks.